Martin Boone talked to the media just a short time ago. Let's get to that with Meredith leading off asking about the battle all season with the Rays in the manager's report brought to you by Geico. Aaron, it's really been a battle with the Rays all season long this series and tonight. No exception. Just how tough a pill is it to swallow that your season ends tonight? Um, it's, I mean, it's awful. Um, the ending is, is cruel, you know, it really is. Um, you know, and so, so many people I'm grateful for that pour so much into this from all the players, staff, you know, clubhouse personnel, training staff, so many people that poured so much into this and, and especially in such a crazy year. Um, you know, I'm proud of so many people. I'm proud to work alongside with so many people that sacrificed so much this year. Um, feel like in, in what's been a real year of peaks and valleys for us on the field too. I feel like, you know, in a lot of ways we're playing our best baseball right now. We lost to a to a really good team that um, you know, I thought played a, a really good game against us, obviously being able to hold us down tonight. Um, we're gonna get there. I, I'm I know it. Um, and it's gonna make it all the sweeter, but um, a lot of hurting, hurting people in that room right now. The expectations were so high for this team when you entered the season. Do you look at this season as a failure because you did not reach your goal of winning a World Series? To win a World Championship. That's what we feel like we're capable of. Um, that's the goal when we set out way back in Tampa in spring and then summer camp, nothing changed. Entering the playoff, nothing changed. We have a team capable, I feel, of, of being a champion. We haven't gotten there yet. Um, I, I believe in my heart we will, and uh, we just got to keep, keep grinding away at it. Marley Rivera, you have the next question. Aaron, um, could you please talk to us about that at bat by Purcell against Chapman and what you saw there? And obviously, sort of, you know, the narrative is going to be that he did it against the guy. Um, you know what I mean? It was great at bat. You know, I feel like Chappie is throwing the ball right now for the last three weeks, really. Maybe as good at any time that I've been here. I feel like he's that locked in right now. And Brasso just put up a great at bat. And that's the beauty sometimes of sport, you know? Um, it's and you get in these playoff situations, you get into two great teams and two great competitors going at it. You know, he got him on a great at bat. I thought Chappie continued to make pitches. I feel like he's so good with his delivery and his stuff right now. Um, and Brasso, you know, put a great at bat on him and, and, and snuck it out of here. Brendan Cuddy, you have the next question. Aaron, could you tell us about the decision making that goes into just asking seven outs out of your closer? Well, I mean, <clears throat> I was going to go with him as long as he was efficient, knowing, you know, I probably got Greeny behind him, but Greeny's going to be an up and in and, and, and in a shorter situation today. I wasn't going to run Greeny out there, you know, in a one plus situation. So I just felt like. You know, I felt like it was the end of the line for, for Garrett, and um, I knew I wanted um, Britt in that lane through down through the bottom, and then I just wanted Chappie at the top with, you know, with Lau and, and Rosarena and, and, and those guys coming up. I just felt like um, I wanted him in there, and if he was real efficient, he would have had a chance to finish the game. If not, I had Greeny behind him if we had to finish anything off. And uh, understandably, you guys, you were in the clubhouse for quite some time after the game. What did you tell the team? Um, you know, we just, a lot of us, you know, said some things. And, um, you know, I, I don't want to go too much into what we said. But, I mean, there's a lot of pain in that room. There's a lot of closeness and love for one another in that room. And, you know, we... A lot of people in that room have been through the battles together where we've had 
a lot of success um, and had some heartbreaking playoff losses. Um, and it stings. You know, it stings. Um, I do believe it makes us closer and hopefully continues to, to make us hungrier. And uh, But it's a hurting room.